In this lesson, we're gonna learn how to set the runtime parameters step by step. This video walks you through exactly what you need to do so you can parameterize your pipelines, jobs, fragments, or connections. Before we get started, let's revise some of the concepts. We know that pipelines are definitions of how data should be sourced, processed, and written. They are determined at pipeline level and applied within the pipeline. You can override the parameter value when you start the pipeline. Runtime parameters are defined for a pipeline and can be used for only that pipeline. They can be utilized for stage and pipeline properties. If you shut down and restart the data collector without stopping the pipeline, then the last set of parameters values is applied. All in all, runtime parameters can be utilized in stages, expression language, and scripting processors. So let's get started with defining the parameters. Go to StreamSets Cloud and open the session. Now select Test Pipeline to edit. Go to the General tab, select Advanced Options. Notice that this option should be enabled. Next, click on the Parameters tab. You will see more options. Here you may use Simple or Bulk Edit Mode. Select the relevant options accordingly. Let's add a new parameter, P batch size with a default value of 50. Select the pipeline's origin, go down and click the Files tab. In the Batch Size field, set the value to P batch size. Notice that you can test the parameter in two ways. Either you may test run the pipeline with the Start with Parameters option, or you may check in the pipeline and run it as a job. Let's do it now. In either case, override the default parameter value of 50 to 300 and run. You can see now that we have successfully run a job. Notice that jobs are the execution definitions of pipelines. And we can also parameterize fragments. Remember that fragments are a way of reusing pipeline stages that have been configured. So when parameterizing a fragment, you want to follow the same pattern just as you did with pipelines. All in all, you can parameterize pipelines, jobs, and fragments according to the various criteria relevant to you. Another configuration object that can be parameterized is a connection. You probably know that connections externalize the security credentials needed to connect to a system such as a database or a cloud platform. They allow platform operators to determine a credential set once and securely share it with data pipeline developers. Notice that connections provide an increased security, improved reusability, easier maintainability, and better grouping. Just as we learned about parameterizing jobs and fragments, the syntax for parameterizing connections is the same. Some examples of connection parameters are database connection strings. Refer to each connection type's documentation to see what parameters are possible for that connection. If you want to get more information about it, go to docs.streamsets.com and move to Control Hub Cloud. Proceed to Connections, and then to Connection Types, where you can read about a connection you need. There you have it. In just a few steps, we can successfully add a new parameter. Thanks for watching. Now it is your turn to try.